Good morning, class. This is the story about Tara. Yeah. Tara was a Tara was an eight-year-old girl when she had her cousin come over, who was six years older than her, yeah, and babysit her. When her parents were gone, yeah, her her cousin sexually assaulted her and her other cousin. This continued for the next four years before it ever got reported to anybody. During this time, Tara yeah, went yeah, had very bad mental mental issues and couldn't rely on anyone yeah, until she finally told her parents of what's been going on. The problem got solved, her her mental issues started to succeed then again when she was twenty four years old. No. Then, when she was 24 years old, she was raped by another person without her consent. Yeah. Statistics show that yeah, out of every 100 people yeah, who are assault, who assault, 40% of them yeah, gets reported. Out of those 40, you know, only only 10 are arrested, eight for eight are prosecuted, four get a felony, and three ever spend one day in prison. Out of 100 people who hit sexually assault, only 97% get anything done to them. Now, on a national level, one person is raped every two minutes. That's pretty bad. On a state level, one-tenth of our, pop of our population here in Texas have been sexually assaulted. But what exactly is sexual assault? Yeah. Sexual assault is the yeah, physical act of a sexual nature that takes place without <coughs> one person's consent. So, what are the causes? While there are no clear-cut yeah, examples of why this actually happens, there's been a few yeah, pointers to what may be going on. Alcohol is one of them. It is reported in 70 yeah, 75 percent of all acquaintance yeah, rapes that alcohol is involved. It can, it also can mis cause people to misinterpret friendliness as you want for sexual acts. Of all the victims, also 55% are usually yeah, which are usually admitted to being drunk while this is gone. Oh. <clears throat> Another one is power motives. Yeah, a study with Stephen Thompson has yeah, has shown that males yeah, who go to the bar and look and target for people who they can feel they can get their way with. This is not everyone, this is just certain groups. If they feel that they can easily separate them if they get them drunk enough, which relates back to alcohol, and get them away and they can do this. Out of all those people that Thompson studied, none of them thought this being of sexual assault. One other, one other reason is cultural influence. In the culture, in our culture today, sex has been very glorified, from TV to family, and etc. Now, what are some solutions of it? One solution is to teach people you know, of the laws and enforce them. If 90% of people never spend, 97% of people never spend one day in jail you know, for sexual assault, most of them will probably think, I can get away with this and it's going to be okay. If we can prove to them that this isn't the case, they'll probably be less likely for this to happen. Another one is that alcohol has also been, that we can also teach people about the, more so about the effects of alcohol, what this can do to their comprehension system. According to Rain.org, this is a very major issue of what we can do. Also, we can tell people what our boundaries are. If you stick to those boundaries, you can you can keep yourself in check. So, out of everything I've presented to you today, I hope you can take a stand and tell everyone that this is not okay. This needs to stop. I urge you to take action and do whatever you can to stop this. Thank you.